As you guys know, I love the Bull Mastiff breed, but they're not for everybody. Let's get right into it. The size. Before you click off, hold on. I can guarantee you there's something you haven't thought about when it comes to Bull Mastiff and its size. Now, a given with size is that they take up space. Obviously, they take up space on your couch, take up space in your living room, but you also gotta consider the cost of a veterinary bill. Cost of food, cost of medicine is always more expensive with a bigger breed. So I know you're sitting there thinking, okay, tell me something I don't know, they're big. I already knew they were big. Yes, but here's something you don't think about when you buy a big dog. These are big, imposing, muscular dogs. So, I'll tell you a story about what happened with my first one. She was 100 pounds, you know, we were walking her out, and a pit bull off leash came after her. Okay, well, guess what happened? The pit bull got wrecked, it got pinned down, and it started yelping. Thankfully, the owner saw the whole thing happen and didn't blame my dog. But you never consider that. Little dogs always seem to go after these big dogs or want to start trouble with them. Your dog is strong enough and it can if it wants to finish it. So it's always going to be your dog's fault irregardless of what happens just based on their imposing size. Reason number two why the bone massive might not be for you is they are not a beginner's dog. You know, Labrador, Golden Retriever, those dogs want to please. These dogs want to please but in their own way. Think about the two dogs that make up this dog. You got a Mastiff and a Bulldog. This is a bully breed. They are a stubborn breed. They think for themselves. You know, you got a German Shepherd and Dobermans, which are very well trainable dogs and very know what their job is. He knows what his job is and he also has a mind of his own. He will think for himself. Now, as opposed to bully breeds like a French Bulldog or a Bulldog, if that dog doesn't want to pay attention, what are you doing? You're gonna pick it up and you're gonna make it do what it wants, right? This one, 130 pounds, not as easy to pick up off the floor or to pull in the direction you want them to go. So it's very important that you know what you're doing when you're training this kind of dog. If those two big reasons bother you, then you should not get a Bull Mastiff. Right, Endo?